Lake Rotowaira, 10 kilometres south of Turangi, is the place where the famous Kamate Kamate All Black Haka was created. It was composed by Te Rauparaha, a famous chief of the Ngāti Tōa tribe, as he hid in a kumara pit on the lake shore. During the 19th century, Te Rauparaha achieved notoriety for attacking powerful neighbours in the Waikato. He then added to his reputation by boldly claiming the mana, or prestige, of a dying chief from his mother's Waikato tribe, Ngāti Raukawa, which further raised his profile. However, during a ceremonial tour of other Ngāti Raukawa sub-tribes, which was designed to consolidate his chiefly rank, he soon found that his past violent deeds made others uneasy. Worse still, enemies made as a result of his earlier forays now sought to kill him. Te Rauparaha fled the Waikato, seeking shelter on the southern shores of Lake Taupo from the powerful Ngāti Tuwharetua tribe. But the Tuwharetua paramount chief, who considered Te Rauparaha to be an upstart, turned him away. With his pursuers closing in, Te Rauparaha hoped to find refuge with another sub-tribe of Tuwharetua, who lived on an island in Lake Rotuaira. Fortunately for Te Rauparaha, the chief at Lake Rotuaira, Te Farerangi, took pity on him. As his pursuers closed in on Te Rauparaha, Te Farerangi directed him to hide in a nearby kumara pit. Then the chief's wife, Te Rangi Kuaia, squatted over it to hide him. Usually a chief such as Te Rauparaha would go to great lengths to avoid such a humiliating situation. According to tikanga, or Māori custom, a chief's body is tapu, or sacred, and it is a great dishonour to be placed beneath a woman's genitals. But Te Rauparaha's life was at stake. He would be killed if he didn't stay hidden in the pit. As Te Rauparaha hid beneath his host's wife and his pursuers arrived on the island to question Te Farirangi, Te Rauparaha murmured, Kamate, Kamate, or it is death, it is death. But as his pursuers moved away, Convinced by Te Farirangi's assurances that Te Rauparaha had fled south, Te Rauparaha sensed a reprieve and murmured, Ka ora, ka ora, or it is life, it is life. And those two phrases became the beginning of Te Rauparaha's haka. When he finally emerged from his kumara pit, he performed that haka to thank his protectors and also to reclaim the mana that he had lost by hiding underneath a woman's body. Today, Lake Rotuaira is a central reservoir of New Zealand's most complex hydroelectric generation system. Here, the waters from numerous rivers on the sides of Mount Ruapehu, Ngaruahoe and Tongariro are held before being pumped through a tunnel to the nearby Tokanu power station, where they generate power on their way to Lake Taupo. They generate power again when the lake flows into the Waikato River, which has eight hydroelectric power stations. The Tongariro power scheme captures almost all the water sources on the volcanic plateau and a tunnel nearly 20 kilometres long takes eastern waters to the underground Rangipo power station. On its completion, the Tongariro power scheme supplied 10% of the nation's electricity. Today, it supplies only about 3.5%. A relief model of the Tongariro power scheme can be seen in the Turangi Visitors Centre. The power scheme has also added a cosmopolitan flavour to the town, for some of the Italian tunnelers who worked on the project stayed on afterwards, often marrying local women.